Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. Is our cosmos merely a single chapter in an infinite cosmic story? The James Webb Space Telescope has made a revolutionary finding that is appending our preconceived notions about the cosmos. Scientists have discovered a far-off galaxy that is so strange that it is appending our basic assumptions about how the universe came into being. These discoveries challenge the well-known Big Bang Theory and instead encourage scientists to think about something much more enigmatic, that the cosmos might have changed in ways we couldn't have predicted. Nobel laureate Sir Roger Penrose is one of the forerunners of this theory, contending that the cosmos revolves around endless cycles of rebirth and death. He says he has found evidence that suggests traces of a past cosmos may still be present in our own heavens, which is even more astounding. Today's space voyage will expose what Webb has uncovered and delve into the intriguing hypothesis that some celestial objects are remnants of a previous cosmos. Webb saw faint, mysterious lights that had been traveling across space for more than 13 billion years when it focused its strong eye close to the Big Dipper. These glimmers are from items that were created inside half a billion years of the Big Bang. Nevertheless, they were already massive, on par with the Milky Way. It shouldn't have been possible to expand so quickly. Scientists are now left to ponder if we have always misunderstood the universe's actual origins. It really shouldn't be feasible. There just wasn't enough ordinary stuff in the early cosmos, based on our existing models, to construct such enormous galactic giants. Nevertheless, astronomers have dubbed them universe breakers because of their strangeness and strength. The workings of contemporary cosmology have been severely disrupted by these enigmatic formations. The surprises didn't end there either. Uh, soon later, more galaxies were discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope. Only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, each one is far too star-rich for its age. However, the Webb did more than just contradict our theories of galactic expansion. It also dealt a blow to the expansion of the universe, which is another fundamental tenet of cosmology. The Hubble constant has long been used by scientists to quantify the rate at which the cosmos is expanding. According to theory, each megaparsec should move at a speed of 67 kilometers per second. However, the figure rises to 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec when we quantify it using pulsing stars, red giants, supernovas, and gravitational lenses. With Webb's most recent discoveries, this cosmic mismatch has only been strengthened and validated. The question is more pressing than before. Why does theory not align with reality? An extreme mind-bending solution is being suggested by certain researchers. It's possible that other worlds are colliding and combining with ours. What if the rapid expansion that followed the Big Bang and the early stages of inflation weren't just sporadic growth spurts? What if the absorption of our newborn universe into a much larger parent cosmos was what set it off? Scientists have developed new mathematical models to anticipate the outcomes of interactions across several universes in order to investigate this theory. According to the hypothesis, such interactions would essentially increase the universe's volume, and what we think of as expansion may actually be the stretching and blending of cosmic domains. To put it another way, the cosmos we observe might be but a tiny portion of a much larger interconnected multiverse, and the web may be providing us with the first hints. Scientists uncovered a startling discovery as they continued to refine their models. They discovered something surprising when figuring out how quickly the universe should grow in the event of a multiverse merger. The statistics were much more in line with our findings than the mainstream model ever was. All of a sudden, this radical notion was more than just conjecture. A real piece of the cosmic puzzle was beginning to take shape. The findings from the James Webb Telescope are challenging more than simply certain facts. They are appending the fundamentals of cosmology. Experts are now acknowledging what was once unimaginable. 
Unknown forces or influences may be influencing reality in ways we haven't even seen or thought of because we don't fully understand the universe. Each fresh web observation serves as a sobering reminder. Until nature shows otherwise, scientific truths are true. We must travel back in time to a moment when the universe was still cloaked in darkness in order to fully understand the significance of these discoveries. The universe was covered in thick clouds of neutral hydrogen, which absorbed and dispersed ultraviolet light, much like a cosmic fog, prior to the first stars to ignite. Nothing was able to show through. However, when the first stars came into being, they started to release intense radiation that ionized the surrounding gas, eventually dispelling the mist and illuminating the cosmos. This historic period is known to astronomers as ionization, and theories have long indicated that it started about 300 million years after the Big Bang. Theoretically, in the hydrogen fog, the first galaxies formed tiny, brilliant bubbles, little areas where light could eventually escape. But the universe was still shrouded in darkness outside of those bubbles. That's what we believed anyway. Then Webb made the astounding discovery that a galaxy called Jade's GSZ-11 was brightly shining only 330 million years after the Big Bang. Not only was it glowing, but it was also delivering significantly more powerful UV radiation to its surrounds than scientists had anticipated at such a young age. Astronomers examined its light and discovered the distinctive Lyman Alpha radiation signature, which is a sign of energetic hydrogen. This wasn't meant to occur that quickly. Researchers are now left to speculate if galaxies like these had a greater impact on the early universe's transformation than previously thought. This is where things start to become somewhat confusing, though. This finding calls into question more than a few specifics. It completely defies our preconceived notions about the early universe. You see, Lyman Alpha radiation, that unique characteristic of ultraviolet light, shouldn't have been able to escape based on existing models. That radiation should have been absorbed or dispersed by the dense, neutral hydrogen gas that still covered the universe at that point. It was supposed to be a long time before the fog cleared. Nevertheless, the strong light emanating from this galaxy managed to reach us from a period when the universe was just 330 million years old. Joris Whitstock, an astronomer at the University of Cambridge and the lead researcher, was unable to conceal his surprise. He gave a direct summary. This came as a complete surprise. This galaxy exhibits a remarkably strong, distinct signal of Lyman Alpha radiation, despite the fact that we are viewing it at a time when the universe was just 330 million years old. We shouldn't have found a galaxy like this at all, and yet there it is, said co-author Kevin Heinlein, his colleague. Furthermore, the statistics unequivocally demonstrate that its UV radiation spread farther than we ever imagined. The results of their analysis were astounding. A bubble of ionized gas, extending 650,000 light years in all directions, has been cut out by the galaxy. To put it another way, ultraviolet light was already able to pass through the surrounding hydrogen. Considering what we believe to be true, this accomplishment should have taken much longer. What does this mean then? Either cosmic realization happened far more quickly than our models suggest, or it started earlier than scientists thought. As Roger Penrose suggests, could this be an indication that the universe has undergone cycles of rebirth? However, the finding also suggests something as fascinating. Perhaps the universe was renized by more than just big galaxies. We may have underestimated the contribution of smaller, less massive galaxies to the universe's illumination. However, the greatest enigma is still unresolved. Why was the UV radiation from this galaxy so strong? Was it a peculiar population of extremely bright and hot stars? Or might there have been a black hole at its core that was still active? One thing is evident regardless of the response. The laws we created for the cosmos aren't being followed. Furthermore, if new galaxies that challenge our models continue to be discovered, perhaps the data itself isn't the issue. Perhaps our entire conception of the universe's origin is the issue. What if, after all, the Big Bang wasn't the beginning? 
What if it was just an explosive handoff from another reality to ours, a bridge? If this is the case, we are at the threshold of Roger Penrose's most audacious concept, a cosmos that never really started but has continuously cycled through periods of annihilation and rebirth. Sir Roger Penrose, the British physicist who won the Nobel Prize, isn't afraid to make such a bold assertion. He contends that the universe is enmeshed in a cosmic dance of rebirth and destruction that never stops. He believed that what we have always referred to as the Big Bang was actually a massive bounce rather than the start of everything. This is how it operates. Penrose asserts that the cosmos will continue to expand until all matter eventually decays and turns into massless light and pure energy. Additionally, anything can eventually contract in the same way that it can expand. Unavoidably, a new cosmos is created in this peculiar, timeless, spaceless state, a never-ending cycle of rebirth and death. The fact that Penrose thinks he has actually discovered proof, not only theoretical clues, but actual fingerprints from a universe that predates ours, makes his theory much more intriguing. Where are these hints concealed? In the background of cosmic microwaves, the universe is still reverberating with the weak remnants of that old radiation from roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang. In this cosmic afterglow, Penrose and his colleagues noticed something strange. Hot areas and enigmatic circular patterns that contrast with the CMBB's typical temperature swings. Both the Planck and WMAP satellites data revealed these circles, which led Penrose to a startling conclusion. He refers to these as Hawking points. This is the concept. According to Stephen Hawking's well-known theory, Extraordinarily large black holes gradually discharge Hawking radiation at the end of each cosmic era, causing them to totally vanish. The energy released by these black holes remains after they dissipate. It continues into the following universe. These remaining photons eventually appear as luminous disks in the microwave background in that alternate universe, which are cosmic remnants of black holes that predate our own Great Bang. Penrose claims that these round patches are just that, the final echoes of a past universe subtly engraved in the sky. According to his estimation, they would resemble disks around the size of the full moon. Indeed, he has discovered precisely that. Naturally, not all members of the scientific community share this opinion. Many others are still doubtful, wondering if these spots are merely statistical anomalies or indications of a previous cosmos. Penrose isn't deterred, though. He points out that black holes themselves were formerly written off as crazy mathematical conjectures, but are today acknowledged as unassailable facts. Hawking points might experience the same thing. Perhaps we are only now starting to comprehend the message of an endless cosmic cycle that we are already looking at. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and become a part of our expanding space enthusiast community if you're eager to continue delving into these fascinating secrets with us. Stay tight and we'll see you in the next video, as we have a ton more cosmic wonders to share.